Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. What a privilege to know you, to have you. Father, we are so privileged that we belong to you, Daddy. Father, we are privileged because we are your sons and your daughters in this world. Father, we are privileged. Father, we thank you for, for coming to this world of sin. To come, you humble yourself to be born of a woman. Father, we are grateful. And you made us to be your people, peculiar people, only nation, the royal priesthood. Father, we thank you. Father, as we go through your word, Father, we pray Lord, that your preeminence we show forth in our life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Quickly open your Bible with me. Glory be to God in the highest. Oh, our God is mighty God. We are going quickly to the word of God in the book of Colossians. The Lord asked me to speak briefly on what we call Christ preeminence. Christ preeminence. Christ preeminence. Christ preeminence. Pre 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Number one, I want to congratulate you, congratulate you that you know Jesus. Amen. You want to be congratulated. Why? Well, because you've got only one life. Amen. And is there anybody that have alternative? You have only one life. And please, those of us here in Europe, beware and beware. The life and the time you are spending in here, you cannot mind nothing from the day that God has ordained for you under the sun. And why I'm congratulating because you know Jesus Christ. In the book of Colossians chapter number 1, we read quickly from 15 to couple the lesson that we have learned. That have learned. It says, who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be throne or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him. And for him, somebody said, Praise God. And he is before all things. And by him, all things consist. And is the head of the body, the church. Who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead? That in all things it might have the pre yes. preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Yes. Last one. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether there be things in art or things in heaven. May the Lord grant us understanding in the name of Jesus. Yes. People of God, the birth of Jesus is the birth of miracle. The birth of Jesus is for your good. The reason why Jesus Christ was born, you know, everything is combined in number one. The birth of Jesus shows his preeminence, show his sovereign power, show him as a power that above every other power. Hello? Can I tell you something? I don't know what you are going through. See, in life, many times people go through things. And sometimes, people go through things or things go through you. I am here to tell you that there is a power in Jesus that superpower your situation and your circumstances. There is a power in Jesus that has the power alone to turn things around. That has the power to bewitch the bewitchment. Oh, that has the power to, do, to make your life to disobey satanic order. Amen. You know, in life, we have powers. Hello? Amen. We have what? If you say there's no power, we tell lie to ourselves. Mm -hmm. There are powers, and there are powers. Mm -hmm. And guess what? And when two power, I mean, guess what? Power <laughs> you don't beg the lesser power to obey. Yeah. Hello? The lesser power, no, if he did not obey, guess what? It will be wasted. But I'm here to present the greatest power that above every other power. Those of you that you have Jesus, enter your peace. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Enter your peace. Hey, stop roaming about. Stop worrying. Jesus Christ has been born. I know some of us, I need to tell you, stop crying. Why? Who has been born? His birth is a better, is a, is a better solution. I know. Stop thinking. I know. Stop even changing church. I say people, they are getting telephones of pastors and pastors sending money to pastor or prophet home to, to fast for you. I told you of a sister who sent his mother to go to Philly, to go and talk to Baba brother, to fast seven days for him, for her, sorry. On the fifth day, what happened? The mama was going to a market and passed before the front of the house of the prophet, and prophet was with, with 
Oh God. Finally, young with a goosey soup. Around 8 30 in the morning. The problem was receive 100,000 naira to pray for seven days. And my mother said, Baba, what? Say, shut up. Everything worked together. What, what do you know? The sister cried, said, Pastor, I said, Yeah. I, I, people have got, I am here to tell you, if you have Christ in your life, you have what it takes to make it. Amen. Hello? You have what it takes to do what? To make it. I don't know what you are believing God for. Number one, why is Christ preeminent? Preeminence pre pre means he has the final authority. Hello? Preeminence means he has the sufferability that with him, all things are possible. And there are some truths you must know. If God did not help you, guess what? Nobody hey, if God did not what? If God did not say yes to your prayer, hello, people can promise you, hello, and thank God, God is not a man. So the Bible let us to know that Jesus Christ, He has taken the preeminence. Even before His birth in heaven, in the book of Revelation, we read when there was a scroll in heaven, and we and God was looking among the angels who is ready to open the scroll. And the Bible said, Behold, the lions of the tribe of Judah. He said, Here I am, Father, send me. Now, we saw in the book of Colossians that we write, verse 15 of chapter 1. Say, Who is the image of the invisible God? Jesus Christ that was born, He is the image of who? God. He is God Himself. And what is what? He is God. I'm talking about God, your creator. God that is able. When, when you study the Bible and you see where God has worked, hello, God is powerful. Hello, when you see God at work, you see the power that cannot fail. We see Jesus is the main image of the if God, you cannot see God. But when you see Jesus Christ, you see God Himself. Verse 16 says, For by Him, we are talking about Christ's preeminence. He has the authority over your situations, He has the authority over your lives. Is in fact your future is his past tense. And your 10 years to come is aware. Your 20 years to come, what is it aware? aware? What of your 15 years? Because there are some of us we are very clever. Hello? We can plant this, we can arrange it, we can maneuver it. We can I tell you, Jesus knows you. He knows you. Hello. Say with me, Jesus knows me. Jesus knows he knows you. He knows you. No, none of us can judge because he's before all things. He knows all things. The Bible says, For by him, oh Jesus Christ, for by him, all things. In the book of Proverbs, it said, During the creation, I was there with my father. And the Bible says, The book of Genesis. Chapter 1, the Bible let us to know when this word was, was without form and void, he was there with his father. He said, for by him were all things created. Uh, and from all those things are your needs. Hello? Your needs. Do you know that I've got to know some? doesn't matter where you are in life. It doesn't matter your title, your, your business, your opportunity. You go, we always put you and me in a place where you need him. You will always need him. Hello? You will always watch. Because it's God. The Bible says, For by him, we are all things. We are not there, but Jesus Christ that was born. He's no longer a baby now. Because most times, I saw people right now, they put Mary, they put a photo of Mary. Joseph, they now put Jesus Christ as a small baby. He's no longer a baby now. Hello? He's no longer what? A baby. Ah, he's no longer a baby. If Jesus Christ now, the Bible let him tell us, so no, no, it's that, that. For by him, for by him, for through him were all things created. I now say, what are those things that he never? Hello? When you look at heaven, we have three kinds of heaven. We have three kinds of Are you for the first heaven is what you see. Hello? Where the sun, the moon, the stars. Where everybody can see. And you know, the heavens. Somebody say, heaven over my life. Heaven over my life. Be clear. Because say the first heaven can be polluted. Hello? The first heaven can, the enemy can target it that can make the sun to smite people by day and the moon and smite people by night. Even the, the abalis, those that deal with traditional power that can know, that has no hope and future. They know the power of this planet Earth that we see even more than the children of the light. That is why as a child of God, you don't go out in the morning without command the morning. You pray. The book of Job chapter 30, 38, verse 8. God asked Job, 
as you have you commanded the money since you are born, learn to command the money. Don't take things casual. After you see the, this heaven, then come the second heaven. What, what in second heaven? Who are those that are there? The book of Ephesians, we are talking about for by him were all things. We are talking about Jesus Christ. If you are here, you've not been having a genuine relationship with Jesus. This is the right time. It's no longer a baby. And I don't know what you need in life. If everything is created through him. In the second level, the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, the Bible says, finally, my brethren, he said, we should put on the whole amount of God. We say, why? Because we do not raise you against Say it again. It means in the second heaven there is a wrestling there that affects the heart. Hello? We wrestle. Though we are under the grace. Cover with the blood of Jesus, isn't it? But we what? We wrestle. That's why you must connect yourself with Jesus Christ. That's why you must really sit down and have a genuine relationship. Why? Because this Jesus is so big. He has the ultimate authority. He can deliver he can save. And he knows those who belongs to him. He knows those who fake him. The Bible says in the second level, that is why you have the arrays of wickedness. That's why you have the principalities, powers, wicked spirit in the heavenly. That's why you see a lot of manipulation. That's why you see a lot of covenant. That's why you see a lot of things that affect human race. And then now followed by the highest heaven. That is the abode of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the Bible is saying that for by him were all things created. Things that are in heaven. Hello? First heaven, second heaven, third heaven. Everything is under the control of our Lord Jesus Christ. And things that are on earth. Hello? It means there are things that are on, on earth. In this, can we find this rocks so where we are in every environment where you are, there's a lot of things that goes on there. The Bible said they are feasible and he... Look at your Bible. We are talking about the preeminence. It means they are feasible things and they are invisible. That's why your lifestyle matters. Hello? Your life has a lifestyle that Jesus will be the preeminent in your life. They are feasible things. They are invisible things. Though there are things that are not feasible, but still they still have impact in woman's life. They say they are feasible and infeasible. Whether they are throne or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for in another word, every situation you find yourself, every authority you find yourself is in your working place. Is it in the house where you live? Is it in your careers? Is it even in the church? Anywhere you find yourself, all those dominions and authority are created by God and for God. And it is God that is in control. Actually, it is Jesus Christ that has put things in order. And the Bible says, He is before all things. The same Jesus Christ. When I, I now go back to the book of John chapter 8, verse 58. Jesus spoke. He said, before Abraham was, he said, I was there. And people will say, you are just 17 years old. You are talking about our father Abraham. And we say that Jesus is before all things. Let me jump to go to where I'm going. And it's is the head of the body. Let's go. Look at the Bible with me. We are talking about the same Jesus that was born. Is the head of the body. Whose body? Look at your Bible. Whose body? Uh -huh. yeah, church people, we need to be weird. Hello? We need to do what? The head of the church is who? Christ. It's Jesus Christ. In another way, in the church, we are not allowed to do what we want. But what God... I was there are people who need special deliverance. Why? Because the spirit of anger and hatred. If your name has been found before that you have fought last year, this year, and your name is fought this year, it means you need deliverance. Why? Because the end of the church must enter your life. When the end of the church enter your life, Jesus Christ, guess what? He will give you peace. He will give you peace. And realize the basis of every strife, guess what? Is selfishness. Hello? Somebody want to feel important, and the other doesn't want to recognize I am important. The Bible says, Jesus Christ, is the head of the body, the church, and this Jesus is the beginning, 
is the first point from the dead that in all things he might have the prayer in another way in the church Jesus must have the prayer minutes if we have the prayer minutes number one is the place of peace the peace of God must reign in your life in your marriage the peace of God must what husband and wife that are here there must be a genuine peace in your home if your Christianity does not work at home then it cannot even work anyway even in the relationship every member of the body of Christ Hello, you must check yourself that God, um, is, are you having preeminence in my life? Jesus Christ, in your thoughts, in your action, in your word, he must have the preeminence. And I look at Jesus, who is the head? Because when you look at the head, in the head, that's where you have the eyes. Hello, in the head, that's where you have the nose. You are not following in the head, that's where you have the in the head, that's where you have the reasoning. Isn't it? And when Jesus Christ has now become our head as a church, what does it mean? It means his word become what? Our final authority. It means his mind, his thought, his direction become our final authority collectively and individually. It means for Christ to take preeminence in your life. For, Christ, for the birth of this 12 minutes in your life, you need to find out are you for peace or conflict? In your working place, when you are working, when there is a problem, will your name be mentioned? Hello? In your working place, when there's an opportunity to steal, to take what does not belong to you. Hello? We live in this country, you go and see the doctor, they will let you sit down in the doctor's service and close the door. Most times you can be there for five minutes, ten minutes. Did I have witness among you? Most times 15 minutes. Am I, spe am I still speaking? Yes, and you will be there alone. And if the door is closed, and you if it is just two plaster in your pocket, three pyro in your pocket, and the man says, hello, and you are still smiling, and you see carry Bible. And we have a lot of us that Christ must allow Christ to be the preeminent. If you are the spirit of fighting, if you are not ashamed that you are fighting, you need help. You, there are some things if Christ is dominant in your life, you must be, you must be ashamed of yourself that there is a problem and your name is mentioned. If peradventure it does mention unknowingly one time in a year, maybe you are not able to guide your emotion. But if it's not become a normal routine, hello, if it's not that your mind, your emotion, because when you look at Jesus, he has what we call self control. He control himself even before the port of Pilate. Port of Pilate said, Ah, don't you know I can release you? Are you surely the king of the Jews? Explain things to me. The Bible is a humble. Our head as a church is a humble God. And you must have preeminence in your life. Many times we fake God. Stop faking Jesus. Let him have preeminence. Plenty of people come to church. I'm not talking about the church, you know. Only few people make it to maturity. It's time to get mature. If you have the spirit of shrine, excuse me, you are not mature. If you are not ashamed to shout at people, if you are not ashamed to talk at people, excuse me, Christ has no preeminence in your life. Let him give him the right. If you are not the bad, if you are not ashamed of yourself, able to look at your child and to cause your child. Hey! Because that child has no power. Hello? And we say them as a children today, excuse me, tomorrow they are a leader tomorrow. It is, if you are not ashamed, when nobody sees you, do you have a genuine does Christ and his word, does Christ and his might, does Christ and his love have preeminence? When people enter the church, can they smell the love of Christ? Hello? I'm somebody I'm spiritually very, very sensitive. Any church I go, I see them fight. I believe that church is not mine. I'm very, very sensitive. Maybe that's how God has captured me. And after I come here too to make money, people love money, isn't it? I must tell you the truth. God, he captured me and arrested my attention. Any church I go and I see them, hello, shouting at one another. Can I tell you, you never see my feet there. It's an embarrassment to the head. It is what? If you, are, if you are being an embarrassment to Christ, stop being an embarrassment. Be ashamed. People are going to talk to one another. Say, brother, are you not ashamed? Are you not? You must be ashamed of yourself. Sit down and weep and let God 
May God preeminence of Christ must give you brokenness. Your heart must be broken. I was studying the book of Colossians, and the Bible was saying our word must be seasoned with salt. It was speaking concerning the word that will come from our mouth. He talked to us that the book of the same Colossians chapter 3. He said, Let no one lie to one another. Say that you put off the old man with his deed. In another way, if Christ is preeminence in your life, hello, you will put off the old man. In this church must be a church where we did not see any act of strife. And every act of, and there are some that are even bold, bringing strife. Even when you are right or wrong, before God, you are not justified. Even when you are what? Right when you are right or when you are wrong, before God, you are condemned. What did I say? Let Christ have preeminence in this church. We need all of us. The reason why we gather together, we see people coming from far place, coming here so that we can see God's glory. It is time for us to know the new year ahead of us is full of miracles. This Jesus, He has preeminence. He is able to deliver. He is able to save. He is able to provide. But are we ready? When pastor is not there, you are alone in the kitchen. You are alone in the children's room. You are alone in the train. You are alone in the bus. Can God see the word of your mouth and bless you? Can God, when you see that in the train, pastor is not there. No minister is there. Hello? Hi. Can the word that come out of your mouth? Maybe people will say, ah, where is your church? The way you have been talking, I am, I am, I am impressed. In fact, your word has been blessing. Give me the address. I will do what? Well, the God has been to ask you, how many people are out of the church? Because you are in the church. People of God, it is time. The preeminence of Christ, make him to dominate your life. Make people, Jesus Christ, the split at him. If you cannot take insult, the preeminence of Christ will help you to go and pray. That God help me to take insult. If Jesus did not take his son, he cannot be our Lord. There are some of us, the reason why you are standing on one prayer point for so long is because the preeminent of Christ has not been so forth in your life. The Bible says in the book, in the plain play we have, it says, verse 19, for it pleased the Father, oh, for it does, it pleased the, and that Father is the same God. That father is the same one. When his soul was in the journey, the river Jordan, you remember the story in the book of in the, in the book of the gospel. When Jesus Christ, he came to John the Baptist. When, when he was coming, as Jesus Christ was taking the step towards him, John looked and said, Ah, I know you. This is the Lamb of God. That to take away the sin of the world. And he saw Jesus. You know what Jesus Christ he didn't even answer? He need that be before when you are to baptize inside the water, your two legs must bow down. Normally, it is the senior that baptized the junior. junior. I'm talking about the Bible saying, for it pleased the father. Why does it please the father? Jesus is a normal God. He went down on the knee and he looked at John and said, please, dip me inside the water. And you know what John said? Just say, please excuse me, Jesus. You cannot lead them. No, it cannot happen. And Jesus looked at him. He said, No, because I know who you are. It cannot. You know what Jesus answered? Some of us, you need to say, Go let the prayer, don't let your prayer minutes show forth in my mouth. People seek to take his son. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't show in your body. I know. Take what? Take his son for the sake of Christ. John says, God forbid. And Jesus said, No, let it be. So that. We can fulfill all righteousness. There are people sitting that the preeminence of Christ will help you to fulfill all righteousness. Because there's something you need. When you fulfill all righteousness, John says, okay, you, you choose. I know you are greater than me. I know you're sure. I'm not worthy to one time. So just let it be. The moment Jesus humbled himself, something happened. There are some of us, until you, until you humble yourself, the supremacy of God will not show forth in your life. And if it did not show forth, there's no answer to your prayer. Because the Bible cannot contradict. Jesus Christ, as John took him and dipped him inside the water, guess what happened? Every act of obedience and submission, you will do what? You will, do, you will cause God's attention. Anytime you humble yourself, you are insulted. You have something to say. You know you are maltreated. But for the supremacy of Christ, you say, no, 
I'm even though my sister step on my toe, even though my brother step on my toe, even though my wife, my husband step on my toe, because of the supremacy, I will humble myself to take the insult. When God Himself, He never, you know, there are some things God permitted to happen. Hello? It's God. The Bible says, it please God. It please God me. Nobody can question God. It's a, it's a God that we don't debate him. We don't fault him. He's before all creation. And his God is not a man. The Bible says, it please God that all fullness may be in him. Why? The story I'm going, what happened? Immediately, John, dip your master in the water. Before he bring him out, he just feels second. Guess what happened? The Bible said, the heaven what? <laughs> Somebody's ever open over my life. Open over my life. When the heaven open over your life, your struggling is over. There are people sitting there. What you just need is for what? Because the heaven can be open. Heaven can be closed. Immediately when God said that, God said, What? I cannot imagine this. This is a true umbility. I can God, you know, the heaven does what? And God Himself, the creator. Now smile at you. May God smile at you. Amen. The reason why you have been crying, your case is not set, is because your heaven has not opened. It's because God has not smiled at you, and it's because you refuse to grow. You are even boasting. Hello? You must be ashamed never to boast on wickedness. Hello? What happened? When the heaven opened, when it's in the heaven, God is said, this is my beloved So, With whom? You are ready with whom or what? And they now say, listen to him means every good thing, favor, open door, all those long time prayers, prayer, everything he has, he, this, this Jesus me, let it be done. By the time, just, oh God, four minutes of doubt, and as Peter, as John lifted him up, guess what? He had already got a divine approval. Hello? His destiny has been changed. Hello? It has been written concerning him that no matter what the enemy does, going to be the Lord. What happened? The fullness of God that was in him. Finally, in the book of Matthew 28, 18, he looked like all this. He looked at Peter. He looked like all the apostles. He said, look at me. All power. All powers. In him and on earth. As what? <sighs> what? Because in that we say, it pleased God. It pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Why? Because he humble himself. Let the supremacy of Christ show forth in your character. Christianity is character. Hello? Uh, it's not only character in the church. In the talk, we all sit in that gentle lady. We are all gentle. In, in your kitchen, let Christianity show forth. Let Christ be the supremacy. Between you and your husband, where nobody is there. Hello? You can even be in your bedroom. You walk the light. You put on the light. I don't know what you do, but I know you will do one. Well, guess who is here? Because in the church, we all look very holy, isn't it? And so we are, you are beautiful people. But connect the supremacy of Christ is the key to your solution. The supremacy of Christ. There are some things that you must be ashamed of. That they will bring your name to pastor. You must be ashamed if you are truly genuine. Hello. You if you are what? Oh, have I offended you? Hey, Christmas, this woman, we come for Christmas. We are not talking about Jesus Christ is the end of the church. At the end of the church, is humble, it's blameless, it's peaceful. He receives insult, he's so humble to the point of death. Finally, the Bible says, And having made peace, oh, that is your Jesus. Hello, he's a prince of peace. Every one of us, anywhere you are, you must be an agent of peace, not pieces. Everywhere you are, you must be a prayer partner, not a prayer point. Hello. Husband and wife, so your husband, a wife must not be a prayer point. You must be a prayer partner. And husband too, all the husband, you must not be a prayer. I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Be a prayer, because there's a difference between a prayer point and a prayer partner. A prayer point means this woman, she's a bundle of trouble. Let me just pray to ask my people. Even in your working place, be somebody that people love to be around you. Be truthful. Be straightforward. When you feel odd, thank you for celebrating Christ. God will celebrate you. When you feel odd, thank you. What do you have to do? When you feel odd, yeah, we have emotion to feel odd. And the Bible says we should be angry, we should not. Anytime you feel odd, excuse me, 
do not see how immediately don't take any step. Opportunity is there for you to talk, then you know you are haunted. You know your emotion tell you that this is a shitty. Your emotion tell you that, oh, this is a jealous. Oh, this brother is jealous of me. I know that can never happen. Even then they say nothing. Hello? Hello? Sometimes they move on Proverbs. He who, he who close his mouth is wise. He said a fool exposes his anger immediately. If any time you are angry, oh, you must talk. The Bible calls you a fool. Hello? That's what the Bible says. I stop being angry unnecessarily. When, when I study the book of Proverbs from ch chapter 1 to the I say so. The Bible says anger lies in the bosom of a fool. If you are the one you can talk anyhow, and you are both you are a fool. May you never be a fool in the name of Jesus. Anytime you know you, know you are hearted, keep cool. Hello, so Holy Spirit, I feel hot. I feel insulted. Oh, this is painful. Holy Spirit, help me to hold the pain. Now, Holy Spirit, help me how to go about it. How to go about it may not be to go to. This is the one that offended me. I know Satan will not have power between us in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I now leave. I go to A to complain. I go to B. You not make yourself a politician in the church. Carry satanic assignment. Hello, you know politician. They used to campaign to get more what? No, no, All of you look very holy, isn't it? Uh, and some of us, we are there you are, what, to get more what? Votes. That is not the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ after you have finished.